The Black Cauldron is one of my favorite pictures from Disney. I think it's one of Disney's secretly best achievements. Many fans criticize it as far from perfect, full of flaws, filled with production problems, or even flat out bad. I disagree with all of these statements. Black Cauldron is one of my favorite Disney animated pictures. I love it from start to finish. I wouldn't want to change a thing about it. For a long time, it was actually my number one favorite Disney animated picture before I saw Tangled. The Black Cauldron was made in 1985. It was a big new risk for Disney Studios at the time. It was rated PG, no musical numbers, grim, dark imagery, and a mysteriously frightening villain. Plus, the narrative of this picture didn't go with the Disney themes that you saw in previous Disney animated pictures. Rather than tell the story of a prince or a princess, it tells the story of this young boy who is a farmer. He, his name's Terran, and he dreams of being a prince, or he dreams of being a warrior. Even. But instead, he's a villager, and he's told of a secret spell a villain is using for ambiguous reasons. Terran believes that he's called to stop this villain known as the Horned King. And he meets a pig along the way that can help him stop the villain. He also meets an evolved dog named Gurgi, who's kind of funny and also helps Terran along the way. Along the way, Terran also meets an elderly man who helps him, and he still meets a princess who helps him along the way, too. There isn't really a love story between him and the princess. There are, like, some really subtle hints at it, but it doesn't happen. He also finds a special sword that helps him along this journey. Terran also meets three witches who make deals with him regarding his sword and the cauldron that the whole king is using. There are some adult undertones regarding the witches, which may have contributed to the PG rating. The more frightening imagery involves the henchmen, and even more so, the skeleton army when they rise. Production details read that many scenes were heavily cut to keep the horror down and secure a PG rating. The thing is, you have to not think about production details when you see this picture. You have to let it play out, because the story is very effective on its own. You truly need to let the story play out, because what you'll gain from the picture is a mesmerizing journey. It's offbeat with a wondrous message that even though you may not have become what you wanted to become by the end of the picture, and even though you might not be living happily ever after, you've fulfilled a journey. Your journey was worth it. You're going to gain friends. You're going to save lives. And knowing that in your memory will help you forever. It's a difficult yet thoughtful and heartfelt message. And that, in turn, makes The Black Cauldron a powerful picture. It's very underrated. And it deserves way more respect, even from Disney Studios. I keep reading about a Blu-ray release, and it hasn't happened. The 25th anniversary DVD is definitely the edition you want. A little off-topic, but worth mentioning anyway, is that if you really like the Donald Duck short Trick or Treat, it's included as a special feature on the Black Cauldron 25th anniversary DVD. Does that make you want to buy it now? More importantly, I hope you will see the Black Cauldron and appreciate it. If you've already seen it, I encourage you to give it another shot. And that's how you know you were called for adventures in your life.